Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to turn Minecraft into an Ice Age survival game. And trust me, this consists of a whole lot of snow and pretty much just dying because there's a whole lot of snow. And as always, after I show you the mods, I'll have some gameplay for you guys. So let's go ahead and check out those mods. Alright, the first mod you guys are going to need to install is the Eternal Winter mod, and this mod just makes us so literally no matter what biome you go to, there will be snow. Even if you go to a desert, it's going to be covered in snow, and obviously during ice ages, there is a lot of snow, so you're going to want to have this mod installed. Next, we'll be installing Optifine because we're going to need it for shaders down the line, and we're also going to be turning on better snow and better grass, which overall just make this look way better than it does before, because it puts snow under grass. After that, you're going to need to set the weather cycle to false, so we will actually be able to make it snow and always snow. In case you haven't realized yet, I'm pretty much just trying to make the weather as awful as possible. For the shaders, I'm going to be using Chalkpick 13 version 8, and once you've selected the shader, I've set the atmospheric density with it all the way up to 4, and this will just make the world look a lot foggier, and you can actually change your render distance all the way down to 8 with this, because really you can't see much past that. Next, install the Snow Real Magic mod, and this will make it so over time when it's snowing, the snow will actually build up on the ground kind of like it does in the Bedrock Edition, and this mod also adds several other cool snow related features, such as when snow is sitting on a tree and you actually break those leaves, the snow will fall to the ground. After that, I've installed Recurrent complex, and this will make it so really big trees generate all over the world, and I just think this works really cool with the world generation and looks really good, so I've installed the mod and I think you guys should too. Mo Creatures is the next mod I've installed, and while it does have a bunch of other mobs included with this mod, I'm mainly including it just because it has elephants, and elephants have a variant which are mammoths, and mammoths are very famous for being in the Ice Age, so this was very necessary to install. After that, we will once again be installing Tough as Nails, and this time around we're mainly including it because we want you to always be super cold when you're running around in this world, and trust me, you will be. One of the last mods I'll be adding is, once again, the Music Player mod, and I really just used this so I could add some wind-blowing sound effects from YouTube, and I didn't just go with dynamic surroundings this time around because for this particular pack I didn't want you to be able to hear a bunch of birds chirping. Finally, the last mod I've included this time around is the camping mod, and this just gives you some cool camping equipment which you can use, and personally I think this fits really nicely because you can just have your own little temporary shelter. Alright, now that I've shown you all the mods, here is the gameplay. Alright, that's the end of this video, and if there's any other mods you guys think I should have included, be sure to post those in the comments below, and I will definitely check them out. And if you guys have any suggestions on what you'd like to see next, definitely, once again, post that in the comments below, and it just may be the next video. And overall, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and until next time, thanks for watching.